So our gas is undergoing a process P is equal to alpha t raised power sorry a t raised power alpha. We need to find the work if temperature is increased by delta t and molar heat capacity and at what value molar heat capacity will be negative. So let's start with our relation and get it in the form of pressure and volume such that uh, we get what kind of polytropic process it is. So we'll turn temperature in terms of volume and from here we get PV raised power alpha upon alpha minus 1 is constant. So our polytropic process is this with the value of n is equal to this. And now we have we know that for a polytropic process molar heat capacity is this and work is this. So let's find one by one. So work is this so delta t is given to us. So we directly arrive at our answer. Second molar heat capacity. So it is given by this formula. We'll put the value of n again and get our answer. Now at what value will the heat capacity be negative? So this is our heat capacity. And if that is negative, then 1 upon gamma minus 1 should be less than alpha minus 1 or alpha should be greater than gamma upon gamma minus 1. So what will happen actually, you can just imagine that if the heat capacity is negative, that means if you are giving heat, the temperature is going down. So it's kind of counterintuitive, but it can happen in certain processes. So again, uh, when the heat capacity is negative, then you are giving heat, still temperature will go down. So dq by dt will be negative. That is what is heat capacity. All right. 